Alrighty, hey guys, this is Rich at Dogtown Innovative Products. Okay, so today I want to show you how to run the Bubble Bowls Ultimate Kit with a vacuum system. Uh, people have asked me how to run the kit uh, when they're processing high volume, and I want to show you that you can do it with the Ultimate Kit uh, and a vacuum system. So what we got going on here is I have just your standard wet dry vac that you can get from any home center and I drilled a port inside the bucket. This is, these are seven gallon buckets by the way um, which you can find online so I just drilled that hole the same size as my hose here. You don't need any special attachments or fittings or anything like that and then you can just take your kit and set it right on top of the uh, bucket here and so you'll want to make sure that it's centered and that vacuum is just going to create a vacuum chamber out of this bucket and draw your water straight through. So um, like I said I'm using seven gallon buckets. I have a second bucket here ready to go. So I've actually done two seven gallon uh, work bag processes and this will demonstrate how to uh, use the vacuum system to keep uh, just running your water through without it backing up. So if you could envision once you see the process uh, you'll see how you can adapt this to a 20 gallon trash can um, and just use your regular hose and gravity feed. For every about five and a half or six gallons you'll have to switch over to another bucket or empty the water in your uh, vacuum chamber. Alright so let me show you what's going on here. I got the ultimate kit which is the 160 micron bowl, I got a 120 micron bowl, got the 90 micron bowl, we got the 68 micron bowl, we got a 53 micron bowl, and we got the 30 micron bowl. So what we want to do with these before we get going is press them together, get a nice tight seal between the bowls so they kind of want to stick together like that. Okay again we're going to put that right on the center of that stack. So with my work bag process um, again I use seven gallon buckets and uh, your ultimate kit comes with an all mesh work bag that fits in that seven gallon bucket. So I'm going to get going here. I have, like I said, I have two seven gallon buckets ready to go and pour through the system. Uh, it's fresh frozen, a uh, whole plant mix. Normally I'll separate the bud from the uh, leaf, but I wanted to get a little more volume, so to show you how to do the high volume processing. All right. So one important thing is before you get stuff around over here. Before you get pouring into the bowls you'll want to start your vacuum motor. Uh, if you pour through and let it uh, back up a little bit you can hit the motor and it'll clear it right away um, but you get a pop of air from the underside and that could throw your extracts back up so um, up into the mesh below above it. So keep that in mind the way to get around that is just to start your motor before you start pouring. So that's what we're going to do right now. Alrighty, so there you go. I'm going to show you that this whole stack is cleared. There's our 160. 
There's our 120. There's our 90. There's our 68. There's our 53. And there's our 30. So I'm going to go ahead and just set this bucket aside. Grab this other stack here. Grab this other bucket. right inside the port. Put the stack back. Again, make sure it's on the center. Make sure they're pressed together tightly. We'll start that motor in port three. So there you go, we got the whole stack is cleared. It's our 160. There's our 120. There's our 90, and that's looks like that's where we got most of our catch. Uh, the stuff in the 120 and the 90 are usually the best stuff. Sometimes the 68 too. The 68 looks like we got some good stuff in there. 53 it may have a little more green to it, but I didn't overwork this stuff and really not much in the 30. So there you go. You see how to clear the system really quickly. Um, like I said, you could probably get away with one stack with for one uh, 20 gallon system. If you're using a 30 gallon or 55 gallon, you may want to add a second stack, a third stack, and go modular. You don't need one big bowl. Uh, you can go modular, add a second, third stack. Um, Alrighty, there you go. That's how to uh, run uh, large volume processes with the bubble bolts. Thanks.